My name is Mary Jane Blunt and you're watching my channel. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Kevin. Today I have my Halloween special and I'm going to be transforming myself into Tiffany Valentine. So if you guys don't know, Tiffany Valentine is Chucky's girlfriend. So I'm going to, I'm not going to do an exact version of Tiffany. I'm going to do my own spin on it. Today I'm not going to put the wig on right away. I'm going to just put my wig cap and start doing my makeup. I'm just gonna try that method today or Mary Jane's version of who Tiffany Valentine's would be. So I'm going to put my wig cap on and I'm going to start. Oh, and I'm going to put a picture right here or here, either part of the reference I'm using and kind of how I'm going to, like the inspiration for my makeup today. It's not going to be exactly that, but it's going to be something similar or at least that's the inspiration. But also I'm going to be using new makeup that goes with this look and also some old makeup that I've used before. Let's transform into Tiffany. I'm doing a black wig cap because Tiffany's Valentine has black roots. So hopefully, and my wig is just blonde. So hopefully this gives it like the black roots effect. And if not, it doesn't matter. Um, so let's get started. So first we're going to moisturize our face and I'm going to use this Wishful Honey Balm. And this is just to add a layer of protection to our skin. And I'm going to use this brush to spread it around. So we're also going to hydrate even further with this Laura Mercier. It looks dirty, but it's just powder. Uh, with this little Oh my god. We're going to hydrate even further with this Laura Mercier foundation primer. I'm just dropping my product. So we're going to add some of this hydrating primer to further protect our skin. And we're going to use the same brush to spread it around. Remember you always want to hydrate your face before doing makeup to protect it from acne or black blackheads is it black holes or blackheads something like that but just protect your skin from all the chemicals that makeup already has and the reason why i'm using a brush to spread it around is because it's better to use your clean brushes to spread it around than to use your hands because your hands touch doors knobs they touch everything, so the part of your body that has the most bacteria is your hands. So if you can just avoid it, it's a good idea. But if you can, then just go in with your hands. It's, I mean, it's just to extra protect your skin and be bushy. We're going to add this hydrating spray from Murad just to further hydrate our face, just to add another layer of protection. I just killed a bug. So, yeah, and we let it dry. But just dry, you don't have to let it dry like a lot. And now we're going to use our Dragon Beauty color corrector, but we're also going to be using the LA Girl because this one's almost running out and I just wanted to be sure to be ready to have it. So we're going to color correct our beer. Remember, you have to be generous with this corrector, orange corrector, especially if you're a boy, because you want to make sure to really cover that beer. You know, because you don't want to have like that gray come through. So we're going to use a brush. We're going to use the same brush that we use to hydrate our face, because why are we gonna get another brush there? It's not necessary. It's less for me to clean. Okay, no, I'm gonna use another brush because it's eating my makeup. Well, let me finish this. Maybe, maybe today's its last day. So let's go all in. So we want to cover our beer. I love to use my makeup all the way through because I'm not rich. So let's not waste our makeup. So we want to be really generous. Uh-oh. Like, I'm like, what the? <laughs> I just broke it. But it's almost gone, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so we're going to continue with the LA corrector because I was talking all that shit and this thing broke. So now I don't know how I'm going to scoop that out. I'll figure it out. Okay. LA, that's enough. We're going to 
Use this brush to just blend. Okay, that's enough. Now we're going to move to the foundation. And for today's video, I'm going to use my Kat Von D foundation because it's literally my favorite. I'm gonna let it dry just a little bit. So I'm going to use this sponge to apply the foundation. And we're going to start with two pumps. I feel like it's dry. So my favorite method is always just using my sponge and tapping. I just feel like it's the best way to apply foundation. Taking your time. Make sure you get it really in there. I love this Kat Von D foundation because it just mixed so well with my skin and makes it feel so like skin like. It just blends well with my skin. But you want to make sure to get your ears because your ears get red as either you drink or if you get mad or if you show any emotion. It shows in your ear and you can see the contrast between your skin and your ears so you really want to make sure you put foundation in your ear we're going to add two more pumps well i'm still with one in my forehead really the tapping method with the sponge is my favorite way to apply foundation i just feel like it leaves it so smooth but also i really do love this foundation it just blends so well with my skin and if you're a drag queen, don't be afraid to get foundation on your hair because you're gonna add the wig anyway and it helps a little. I'm not gonna lie though, when you're doing the tapping method with the sponge, either tap really fast or really take your time because it's going to just make it more perfect the longer you tap and the, long, the more time you take applying the foundation because you really have to get in there and it does take time unless you do it really fast but you have to be patient because you, there's just no way around it you just have to take your time applying the foundation and making sure that it's perfectly applied because otherwise it's going to leave like patches and it's just not gonna look good and some people are just impatient and they think that by applying the foundation and then just adding powder that's gonna solve it but no you have to really take your time and also don't be pulling with the sponge because that's just going to ruin your makeup so i'm going to add another pump for my neck and same with the neck you regardless if you're a drag queen or if you're just a girl on um, doing your makeup you have to add foundation to your neck because then you see the difference in skin tone and it just looks fake it makes you but not not fake in a good way it makes you look fake in a really bad way so a tip that i can give you is make sure you put foundation in your neck and we're gonna add another pump i'm just gonna add a little bit more foundation to my chin area and that's going to be it so i feel like i'm done with the foundation i love it i feel like this is the best foundation so now we're going to move to this i know it looks dirty but it's literally powder like it's just my makeup it's not dirty dirty which i probably should have cleaned it before making this video but i didn't but oh well so this is the fenty beauty the reason why i'm using this highlighter is because this fenty beauty highlighter also makes my skin look like natural and my favorite one to start in the bottom because i use two type of highlighters but the first one i use i always like it to be skin like because i like playing with shadows when i do my makeup so we add to our nose we add some here and we add some down here and that's it so we're going to close it and we're going to use the same sponge we use for the foundation but we're going to use the other side and we're going to tap 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 tap, tap. so i like using this highlighter because it like it highlights you really well but in this natural way like very nice which for females is perfect like i do recommend it for any female and for a drag queen, I recommend it if you are like me, that you like the more natural look. But it's a good hydrating highlighter. And I love it. And it's from Fenty Beauty. And it just leaves your skin feeling nice and hydrated. And it really like brings out the parts that you want to 
highlight and it's so like natural like the color is so like just perfectly not overpowering not like overly brightening but just like subtly subtle like the highlight part is very subtle and cute like i mean you guys are seeing it how like it's highlighting me not in a dramatic way but in a nice beautiful natural way so basically i'm saying it's like it's not overly dramatic in the way that it brightens you but it's like in a classy natural makeup type of way basically it's like good quality naturally and like it's cute because i'm a drag queen i need to use like i need to highlight my in a way where it feminizes my body or my face after i use something natural like the fenty beauty highlighter then i like to use the scubious place one and this one is more white more brightening the reason why i mix both of them is because i like to work my makeup in layers where one is more natural underneath and then the highlighting part it's more like a subtle look it brightens it a little bit more so it's like a layer type of thing like i do my makeup in layers we're going to see that's super brightening we're going to spread it around and as you guys can see it really does like the layer part is so good see it like totally works and i feel like this step is mostly for drag queens because we want to feminize our face as much as possible but i feel like this trick would help help girls too so now that we already highlight our face we're going to move into the brown so for the bronzer i like to use this uvious place uh, i don't know if, I, if it's a highlighter or if it's a bronzer but i use it for a bronzer because this is my first step for bronzing so for bronzing i'm going to use the sponge and i'm going to use the same sponge i've been using but i'm going to use this part right here that is clean um so we're going to tap so the trick here is to just tap in the area that you want the bronzing to be and just let the sponge and the product do its job spreading around. Don't try to move and scrub because you're just going to ruin it. So you just want to stay in the same area and tap 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 tap, tap, tap and stay in that area and you can come back down here and add some here but normally you just want to stay within the area where you're applying the makeup and just tap and let the product do its job so my trick is to just tap where i feel my cheekbone once i start feeling my cheekbone i go back like right here go back and that's like how I apply contouring because you feel your cheekbone right here. So you tap, you stop feeling it. Okay, go back there. And now we do this part down here. And you want to make sure to contour your jaw because it helps with the contrast, especially with pictures or when you're at a nightclub and the lights are dimmed, like it just gives you a nice contrast to your face. So. And like I said, we just let the product do its job and we don't move it around. We just tap. So when you come to the nose, you want to again flip it and use the area where uh, it's not dirty and there's no bronzer because then you will be adding bronzer everywhere. And like I said, all you want is to just tap where you have product and that's it. Let the product um, spread itself. And now we're done with our bronzing. And we're done with the sponge also. Now we're going to use my Fenty Beauty Red Creamy Blush. And we're going to use this because we're going to be extra. And it's another step. And we're just going to do it. And I'm going to use this little sponge to just grab some product. And it's red, but once you apply it, it's like very subtle. We're going to apply our blush and today i'm going to use the sahara blush number two for powder but that's going to be later i love this fenty beauty blush because although it's red is you can decide how red you want to really go it's very subtle it's really cute it's not overpowering 
And same with the blush. I like to go to where I feel my cheekbone and go back. So we're done with the blush. I'm going to use this Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer. So this is to give an extra coverage to the eye. It's a base for the eye. So the colors that I'm going to add with the palette are more brightening and stick together better. Plus it's protecting your eye because I believe it's hydrating also. So we're going to add this eye prep eye primer. We just added the Juvia's Place eye primer and now we're going to continue to our eyebrows. And for our eyebrows, I'm going to use the Kat Von D cream eyebrow. It's on the color dark brown. I'm going to use this brush to apply it because I want to do a really, because I don't know where I'm going to put the picture of her, but if you see her eyebrow, it's like really chola-ish. So I have to do it really skinny. Tiffany has this really chola eyebrow. I'm going to do them skinny, but Mary Jane style skinny. Like my inspiration is the picture and the doll. I also have to give it my own spin because that's what drag is all about, to use a concept and make it your own. I am going to do like a skinny, well-defined brow. I am going to do it more modern and less chola-ish. Or I'm going to try. Yeah, that's going to be it. I think that's a spin I'm, go a, uh, so I'm going to get it because it's not going to look cute if I do them like too chola-ish. So now I'm going to do this side. I like them. I'm gonna leave them like that. So that's how the eyebrows are going to look. I try to do them as skinny as possible and I think that's gonna be it for me. Now I'm going to add powder and I'm going to do the Fenty Beauty powder and I'm going to use this brush, this fluffy brush to just spread it. I'm gonna add this powder everywhere and make sure to add powder to your neck. Okay, so now that we're done with the powder, we're going to continue with our eyebrows. And for this eyebrows, I'm going to use the Eye Sculpt Eye Shade from Juvia's Place, which comes with four different colors. Um, but I'm going to use the deepest black, which this is more of a gray. Well, it's a black, but it's more like a pencil black. This is more like a dark deep tone black, and that's the one I'm going to use. And I'm going to use the same brush that I use because I really want a defined brow. And I feel like this is gonna help it stick. So I'm going to use the darkest color and I'm going to be really careful to not make it thicker than I have to or more. Or more since I want to do a more skinny brow look. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference between the powder and no powder. So now I'm going to add to this side. And again, I'm going to be really careful to not make it thicker than it already is since she has chola eyebrows. I feel like that's as good as it's gonna get and I don't wanna mess it up. That's the eyebrows. Now we're going to move to doing our eyes. But this time I'm going to put this Juvia's Place powder underneath my eye. And I'm just gonna use this brush. So now we're going to start with our eyes. And for my eyes, I have this new palette from Juvia's Place that my brother gave it to me for like a long time ago and I've never used it, but because I was saving it for a video. But this is the palette, it's called Eloise the Queen. It has a beautiful mirror. It's so big and cute. The palette is beautiful. It looks super cute. A queen lies in all of us, the queen. Eloise and I'm going to use this palette because although I'm going to do a dark look I want to put some color underneath. That's how I'm going to start my look. I'm going to start with this Empress pink. I'm going to do that because I'm going to do like a pink to purple to black color. We're going to start with pink for our base. We're going to just add it up here and blend blend blend. This pink is super cute. It's just what I expected, super subtle. And we're going to... The reason why I'm going to do pink, purple, and black is because to me, that's the colors that pop in the doll picture. And I feel like pink and purple and then like a smoky black would make a cute combination. That's why I'm doing this color scheme. 
So we have to make sure to blend it well. So now we're going to use this purple and I'm just going to go ahead with the same brush. Add the purple out here. And the palette is powdery, but I don't mind a palette that is powdery, just as long as the colors work well in my skin and are pigmented. And this palette is doing such a good job at being so vibrant. So we want the purple to just be right here in the corner and maybe bring it a little bit to the front, but not all the way, just to the middle. And we're going to use it to deepen this end, kind of to give it that cat eye feel. So the palette is a little bit powdery, but it's not excessively powder. It's just a normal amount. And it's a really good palette. So I really fell in love with this palette. It's such a good deal. It has really bright colors and purples, but it also has browns and it has a lot of highlighting colors that are unique and it look really pretty. We're going to use this purple to just deepen our end because we are going to add black. And because I feel like I'm doing more like a teenage version of Tiffany Valentine. And I feel like Tiffany would use still be gothic, but use like bright and cute colors, at least underneath the black. And I'm doing my own take on it. I'm going to stop with this palette for now. And I'm going to use this laura mercier palette and the reason why i'm using this is because it's the only palette i believe that i have that has that black powder or shade i'm going to use this brush i'm going to use this morphe and jacqueline heel brush i'm going to add some black to my eye and like i said this is inspired on her look in the picture of the doll and most of her eye look is black but the trick with black is taking your time and mixing the color around we add our black shade and we mix it well we make sure we blend it and we bring it to the middle and come back so I'm just going to make it more intense because her eye look is super intense I'm going to blend it to the middle and back to the middle and back you guys see that difference okay so now we're going to do the other so now that we did both parts now we're going to grab a either smaller or skinnier brush which this is just smaller but fluffy and we're going to go back with this Laura Mercier and the black color and we're going to add it here and make sure that we define this area to give it more like a cat eye look. And you just wanna keep it in the crease area. Or if you're doing a big crease, just keep it in the area that you decided to make your crease. But since I'm doing my normal eye, so I do it here in my crease area and make sure I blend it well. And I don't know if you guys can see the difference between this eye and that eye. So to continue with the black, we're going to add some underneath our eye here. So we're going to make sure we blend here the black eyeshadow. I'm going to remove the powder underneath my eye just to, I'm going to use a clean brush just to. So we have that ready and we're just going to blend here a little bit. So we're not done with the eyes and we're also not done with the Queen palette, the Queen Eloise. I'm going to use this powerful highlighter to add to my eye. I'm going to use, I'm going to try to go with a brush first. And if it doesn't go well, I'll go with my, ooh, it's so pretty. It's literally so pretty. So I ended up going in with my fingers because it's just easier. Oh, I, I love that. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to use this Laura Lee Party Animal. I'm going to use the pink highlighter. And I'm going to use a tiny brush with a little tiny tip. And I'm going to grab some of this pink and I'm going to add it right here. Because like I said, although it's a dark look, I feel like Tiffany Valentine would be a little more colorful in her youth. I'm just going to give it a little retouch with the black shadow to the sides, just to make it a little deeper. So I wanna add some here too. 
this to be extra. So now we're done with the eyes and we're going to move into contouring my face. So now we're going to use this bronzer to contour my face and I'm just going to use both of them. And remember, I like to just go where I feel my cheekbone and just go back. Oh, I love this bronzer. So we also want to make sure to contour our jaw. Okay, now that we're done with the bronzer, well, we're not done, but now we're going to move to our nose and I like to use a smaller brush to contour my nose because I have a tiny nose and that big brush is not going to do me justice. So we want to contour our nose. I like to add some here because I feel like it makes my nose look a little bit smaller and I like to cover this area too because I feel like the shadow hides the nose. So now I'm going to use this new blush palette from Juvia's Place and I'm going to use it for my blush um, and we're going to try we might try two colors but specifically we're going to try this purple one because I feel like that picture of the doll is screaming purple blush so we're going to use this purple one I'm going to really exaggerate this blush and just because I want to try it and because it's purple and I want it to really pop and since it's a Halloween look I want to be a little extra okay so we are going to use this blush also but I'm going to use it with this clean brush and I'm just going to use it to I'm going to just use it to add a little bit to my forehead because I love adding blush to my forehead but I feel like adding the purple one would not be um would not do it just it would not look cute it would look too purple but that one did its job and it looks super cute and I love it we're going to move into the highlighter and for the highlighter I have this Fenty Beauty highlighter I had traded this one or not the, this is not the same one but I traded this one similar to my brother had the same colors orange and purple i loved it so much that i had to get a new one also i mean i had to get another one because i had traded it and i really wanted it so i got this fenty beauty highlighter and i think i'm going to start with the orange because i already added the purple blush so let's just add orange to see what happens the smell is super cute oh, it's super cute so but i'm also going to add some of the purple just to see what happens i'm just gonna mix them together i love it because it's not like like super orange or super purple like it blends in super well and doesn't make my makeup look freaky or the highlighter look crazy if anything it gives it like a little warmth i really love it so this was cute and just to extra define my look I'm going to go with this Fenty Beauty uh, foundation powder. I'm going to try it with a sponge first. Uh, I'm going to try it with a brush, this foundation brush. I'm going to correct. So now that I'm done contouring, I'm going to finish up my eye and then I'll move on to the lips. First add liner. So I have this Juvia's Place um, eyeline eyeliner and it's new. So I'm going to use it for my liner today. So I'm going to be really careful because I always wear it. Oh my god, I did it. It came out so cute. I love this eyeliner. Okay, that one did not come out as cute. No. I feel like that's as good as it's gonna get. So now that we're done with the liner, although it didn't come out perfect, but it never does for me. So I'm going to just add mascara because this is going to help my lashes be strong to to hold the fake lashes before i put my lash or let me just add my lashes so i'm going to use this i'm going to use this lashes from ione and the reason why i'm using that is because last video you guys loved them so i had another pair so i figure why not here they are they look super cute and they're gonna look great for this transformation into Tiffany. So we're going to add the glue and we let it sit. So we're gonna let them dry and then we'll add a little more mascara. In the meanwhile, I'm going to do my lips. 
And for my lips, I'm going to use the same liner that I used last video. Mr. Dubious Place Berry um, Liner. And I'm going to use this because I'm going to use the black lipstick like Tiffany's using in her picture. And I figured this um, dark berry is a perfect match. And it's like a purple tone. So I feel like it'll be perfect with the lipstick. Now that we're done with the lip liner, we're going to use our black liquid lipstick. And I'm going to do like an ombre effect with this black liquid lipstick because I feel like teenage Tiffany would do an ombre. But for the ombre look, we're going to go with the liquid lipstick that came with our liner and it's this Berry Lover Girl. So we're going to do an ombre with this and then we're going to use Culture from the Berry Collection is the lip gloss. So we're going to use this lip, lip gloss on top of the ombre to bring a full look. So we're going to start with the black liquid lipstick. So I like using brushes to get the lines straight on the lip and really define them. I love this black. It did not stain anywhere and it's not staining my teeth either. And it's holding up. It, it's a very rich color. It's beautiful. I think just by itself it would look great but we want to be extra and we want to feel like a little teenage Tiffany so I feel like this is something she would do so let's start there and we're gonna use a brush to kind of pat it okay so it dried up a little bit so I'm going to add a little bit more just to see if it gives it a little something or if it takes the red a little more I feel like that's as good as it's gonna get. Honestly, I'm liking it. So we're going to use the new Juvia's Place gloss that I have, and we're going to try it with our look. And since it's a berry and a pink, I think it's going to combine well with the lipstick and the ombre look that I'm trying to achieve. So this is called Culture, and it's a gloss. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Kat Von D setting spray. So, and also because it's a Halloween video, I'm going to use Auntie Voldemort's setting spray because why not? Well, because the bitch is evil, so might as well. So I'm done with everything. Now I'm going to go change and I'll come back with the wig on and dressed up. So I'm gonna go change and I'll be back to close this video. So this is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. This is me transforming into Tiffany Valentine. But I have two special guests coming. So let me go get them. So here, hi. Sorry, check this room. Okay. So here's my two boyfriends. This completes the look of Tiffany Valentine. So I'm gonna sit them right here. And actually, I'm just gonna hold one. I'm gonna do seat of chucky this is my boyfriend chucky say hi chucky okay so this is the final look my name is tiffany valentine and this is my halloween costume and i decided to not go for the normal tiffany look i just decided to go for like the blonde hair and like a gothic look and just a fresh i didn't want to put like rides dress so i just wanted to go for like a young gothic look and do you like my look, Chucky? Do I look pretty? <laughs> Anyways, that's my video of today. Tell tell them, Chucky, to like, subscribe, and comment, or or otherwise you're gonna stab them. Thank you for getting me to 1,300 followers. I really do think that it came out just like the picture with the wig and. Well, I know it's a longer wig, but I decided to go for a longer wig. But yeah, this is it. This is the look for today. I hope you guys liked it. This is my transformation into Tiffany Valentine. So that's all for the look of today. I hope you guys liked it. This is my little boyfriend, Chucky. Um, if you like the transformation, please like, subscribe, and comment. Otherwise, I'm going to send Chucky to go get you guys. So... Make sure you live your life, subscribe, and comment. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. For more makeup transformations and more makeup tips, subscribe to my channel, watch more of my videos, and I hope you guys enjoy. Have a good day. Thank you so much. That's all for my Halloween transformation. And thank you. Bye.
My name is Mary Jane Blunt and you're watching my channel.